While the political debate rages about what Australia should do to tackle greenhouse emissions and who should pay the bill, many of the country's farmers are already on the front foot. Whether you believe climate change is caused by burning fossil fuels or not, Australia's weather patterns in the past decade have forced people to change the way they farm. And among those leading the way are the country's dairy farmers. If the predictions of a hotter, drier South East Australia are correct, just how much hotter and what will it mean? The modelling would suggest that perhaps the onset of summer might be earlier, less p potential rain through the summer. There's a lot of uncertainty around rainfall directions, but the temperatures are likely to be warmer, so evaporation loss is going to be high. Um, that could mean that we need to manage an earlier onset of summer, say by 2050, by, by about three weeks on average. Although agriculture won't be covered by an emissions trading scheme, at this Victorian Department of Primary Industries research farm, they're trying to work out practical ways of cutting methane emissions from stock. What we've got here is a, is a dairy that um, allows us to measure from individual animals. Um, it allows us to record the individual animals' milk production, and then we can relate the, uh, the diet that we're feeding them back to their production so that we can evaluate carefully the methane effects as well as the production impacts that they might have. Hand in hand with this work is the task of reliably measuring methane emissions. So these cows are wearing special collars designed to do exactly that. Dairy cows can burp up to 400 grams of methane a day. But emissions can be cut by adding certain fats and tannins to their diet. There's a fine line between just the right amount of uh, fats, for instance, to reduce methane emissions, and if, uh, feeding too much could reduce the uh, feed intake of the cows and perhaps the fat test of the milk. The research hopes to come up with practical feeding programs farmers can use to reduce methane emissions from their cows. One unexplained but often observed fact is that methane emissions differ from animal to animal. Some uh, cows will re uh, produce about 30% less methane than other animals on the same diet. Do you know why? No, we don't know at this stage. It could be due to different bacterial populations in their room and it could be just a, a genetic difference between the cows. Richard Eckhart's from Melbourne University and he leads greenhouse and climate change research for the Victorian Department of Primary Industry. He says farmers need to see climate change as another risk to be managed. It's managing both sides of the risk, not only the climate um, and re-emphasising what parts of the season we can emphasise in the future, um, but also managing um, emissions by providing farmers with strategies they can use now profitably. And he points out that while agriculture won't be included in an emissions trading scheme for now, that could change. And so could the demands of customers. We're hearing a lot of discussion around um, supermarkets, for example, in the UK, uh, like Tesco, wanting to attach a carbon f a footprint label onto their products. And so we need to be aware of these changing patterns, and, and some of those could provide us with opportunities.